Hi and welcome back to Rich's Home Mechanics and a warm welcome. Right, today we've got a project uh, generator that we've picked up. It's a Honda GX160 5.5 kilowatt. Now, it's not running too good, I don't think. We're going to show you running in a minute. And it's also looking a bit scruffy. So we've got a few uh, uh, issues here. First of all, we need to get this running correctly. And we're going to tidy this up. I think we'll take the engine out of this, spray up the frame, spray up the covers, and let's make it look nice, shall we? Let's have a look and see how it starts first, shall we? Okay, what we're going to do, we're going to see if we can start first. Before we go anywhere else, we just need to think of this, see if this generator will start. Now, we're going to start from cold. What I have done, I've plugged in a 110 drill. So if it does start, we can try it and see if the actual voltage is coming out good on it. Let's just see if it starts first and go from there, shall we? So we've got engine on, fuel on, little bit of choke. Let's have a go. Not promising. That doesn't sound good. That is not good. There's no way that's going to run that drill on a site, is it? My God, that sounds ropey. We might as well turn it off. Here it goes. It's hogging. Hear it? Right, we're going to turn this off. This ain't having none of it. Right. I couldn't even try the drill because there's no way that is going to uh, create enough AC to generate and power this drill. So straight away, we've got an issue. It's not running, so there's no way we're going to be able to use power tools off this generator. Um, a couple of issues. Could be electrical. Um, could be petrol. I'm siding on the petrol side because it's not. It's running, it's hogging, and there's a little bit of smoke coming out of it. Um... I think what we'll do going forward, we're going to drop this carb off and we're going to clean this carb out thoroughly. I will show you how I do it using carb files and carb cleaner. Um, a safe way to do it because I will say that carb cleaner does sting your eyes, so make sure you wear the old protection. Um, so I think that's what we're going to do. We'll clean the carb, get the carb off, we'll get this carb cleaned. Get it running first, and then we'll jump onto the electrical side, the output, and just make sure we do some testing to make sure that it's actually generating AC to run this drill. So, okay, let's crack on. Let's get this carby on, this carby off, get it cleaned, and see if we can get at least get this little Jenny to run and tick over. Okay, what we're going to do, we're going to take this air filter off and take this carb off. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it on time lapse while we work our way through this, shall we? Okay, we've got the old carburetor off. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give it a very, very quick clean. Now, normally, I will clean the internals with this to the outside, but this looks really gunky. So I'm actually gonna use a bit of old degreaser. Just gonna put a little bit in there. Just give it a little clean up. What we wanna do, we're just gonna give this a little clean up, and then I'll blow it down with carb cleaner, but it's quite thick with grease, and this, works fine. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to carry on with that and we'll come back to that in a minute. There we go, right, we've now cleaned the outside of the carburetor and I've wiped the inside of the red box ready to prepare itself for the internals of the carburetor so we want this nice and clean. The reason we clean the outside before we break it down is we do not want any of this debris entering the inside of the carburetor which could cause problems later on. So basically I'm going to get my compressor, I'm going to blow the outside down and then we'll start breaking this carburetor down. Just a quick blow over, just like that. Right, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna crack this base off. Here we go. This is a float bowl. Right, it's got a little copper washer there. That goes there. Here we go. There's your float. Now we need to pull this little bit off here, this little pin that holds the float in. Put that there and leave that float like that. Now the culprit we're after is that main jet in there. So let's see if we can get that out. Now these are only in aluminium. They're brass and they're aluminium thread in there. So you have to be very, very careful. If it's not gonna come out, I'm not gonna force it. I'll clean it in situ where it is. 
fortunate enough that's come undone so there we go this is the main jet this i think is what the culprit is causing us the problem there we go now what we're going to do i'm going to hold this up there's no light in there that's your jet very small i can see hardly any light in that so what we're going to do we're going to give that a quick blast of carb cleaner where is it here we go here we go and we'll blow that through in a minute and while i'm here we're going to give that a quick blast in there right what we're going to do now now we've got the carburetor apart i'm not going to go too in depth in pulling this apart my main concern is it's that main jet that's playing up so we're going to clean that and while we're here we're going to give us a quick blow over this is carb cleanup remembering to wear eye protection because this stuff stings there we go and then shake it out and we're going to give it a quick blow What this is doing is blowing all the debris out and also blowing all the surplus car cleaner out. Not it. Here we go. Give it a good clean down there. Right, every orifice, every hole is going to get a clean look. In there. Right, what I'm going to do while I'm here, I have explained in my other videos, but I'm going to do a quick explanation how this carburetor works. Carburetor sits like that, and you have a float like that, and you have the needle like that. As the fuel comes, the float will sit like that when it's empty. As the fuel fills up, that float will go up and this little valve here will stop the fuel. So as you pull on the fuel, the fuel will empty, it will let more fuel in. As it fills up, it switches it off. That is as simple as a carburetor is. So what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna give this jet a quick clean. And what I've got here somewhere is what they call, these are carb files. Now these are a real handy bit of kit. They're basically very, very thin bits of wire, but they've got very abrasives on them, so they actually do clean the jet out. Now what you do, you find the desired size, which I believe is that one there. You put it through the jet. Here we go. Like that. And I'm just gently giving it a little, not a lot, because that's taking it off. Because if you enlarge it, it could make it worse. Well, it will make it worse. And there you go. That's that cleaned out. Another clean out. And what we're going to do now, let's quickly assemble this car back together. Right, main jet. Make sure it's the right way. Give that one more blow down there to make sure I'm happy that's clean. Happy. That's it. Right, we're going to put the jet in. Make sure it drops in. Now, when you put these jets in here, very very careful don't over tighten them they need to be tight but don't go ott over the top what, what i'm doing i'm using the end of the screwdriver i'm nipping it till it starts to nip once it nips that's in give it a little nip don't over tighten look that's all it needs it doesn't need a lot right next we're going to get put the float in let's give the old float a quick wipe get any crap or dirt off it and there is the little valve. You see the little valve there? When it sits in, that's what shuts the fuel off. It goes in and out. That simply sits in there like that. Voila, madame. And the little pin. We have a little pin here, see? Quite a nice carburetor, this. Some can be really, really fiddly. This is quite a nice carburetor to do. So, gonna hold it up like that. We just need to put this pin through here like so unfortunately I've got what they call sausage fingers here we go feed it through let's go through 
that'll find its way and there we go see the pin is in there doesn't locate that just holds its own so recap main jets in the valve is in and the float is on all we've got to do now is put the float bowl on now that is looking a bit worse for wear look at the rubbish in that we're going to give this a quick jet clean with carb cleaner here we go and uh, give it a quick brush out because what happens you can clean the carburetor but if you don't clean the, the bowl it's going to suck the, the rubbish back up again and good old faithful compressor let's give it a blow there we go right i always like to double check just triple check before i put it back together so what have we got here we've got the main jet in check cleaned that's nice and secure let's just double check not too tight yep nice the float is on the float needle is in it's operating let's just test that yep perfect right what we're going to do now is we're all happy that we're going to put the float bow on doesn't go any particular way you just basically want to leave that that's a drain plug let's think how it goes on you need to leave the drain plug accessible so we're going to put it like that so when the carburetor is on we can actually gain access to it and if you wanted to drain the fuel out we can this is the locking nut holds the fuel uh, float bowl on again don't over tighten just hold it hold it there notice i'm holding here and not at the end so i don't over lever if it's very fine i just give it near the end and give it one two three right this goes on here right we're now ready to put this back onto the generator right let's get this carburetor back on there's a few little fiddly bits we've got to play with but let's just take a time we've got pipes to connect on so i'm just going to work your way through it right we've got the linkage there tiny little linkage springs got to go on there like so just nip that up that's a very delicate little spring right that's on right we've got a fuel pipe here which we need to get on pretty sharpish because that'll start pumping fuel out in a minute all right Right, that's the fuel pipe on. Let's have a look. That's looking all right. We've got another one here somewhere. That goes in there. How are we looking? All right, let's put the clip down. All right, that's looking good. Just have a look round, that's on there. That has got to go back on there in a second. Yeah, that's cool. Looking good. Right. Got this part now. Now we have a gasket go over here. Must remember the gasket, try and remember how it goes. I laid it out how it come off, so it should be good to go back on. That looks good. I've got this little part here another little pipe that pumps on here which is for the air filter right hang on a minute that lever goes in there these little levers have got to go in looking good very fiddly but just take your time that looks good right we need the nuts do 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 just tight slowly slowly there we go do, 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 do. set it to do up locking bolt for the air filter again 
do 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 do. Let's get an extension bar. You'll notice that I'm using a small ratchet on here. Here we go. So I don't over tighten, or less chance of over tightening. And I think all we've got left to do now is drop the air filter on. Two bolts for that. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. Don't look too bad, the air filter. I probably will replace it, but it's good enough for now. I'm gonna give it a quick blowout. Air filters can cause problems. If they're blocked, they'll suck too much fuel in and it'll start puffing out black smoke, which means it's not the right air to fuel uh, combination. But we're gonna put that on there. That looks all right, that's all right for starting purposes. You know, we're gonna give this little thing a service later, but all I wanna do at the moment is just make sure it runs and it produces electricity so it works, so we can run power tools off it. Note that now. Very simple, isn't it? As you can see, cleaning the carburetors, there's not a lot to it. Just simple, simple. Simple, just take your time, and if you're not sure, um, photograph it. Does it go that way? That's the question, possibly. That fits better. There we go. Lock that on the top. Spinning that. Right, all I'm going to do now is have a quick look round. Right, that's connected to the air filter, that's on. The air pipe, that's bolted. That's on. Fuel pipe's on. Do you know what? I think we're ready. I think we're ready to see if it will start. Okay then, let's just recap. When we went to start this, it was running terrible. That wouldn't have run any sort of power at all. So what we've done, we've gone through the way we've... Um, Clean, took the carburetor off. We give it a nice clean, very simple clean. We didn't go into it too depth. My main concern was the main jet on this and it was definitely blocked. So let's give it a first start and see how we go. And if it ticks over and actually starts, let's bung in a power tool and make sure it's ready for work tomorrow, shall we? Switch it on, choke off, fuel on, here we go. There we go, another simple job completed on Richard's Home Mechanics. That's now ready for work tomorrow. That'll be going in the van and off that goes and that's going to earn its keep. Thank you very much for watching my videos. Uh, if you like them, please subscribe and press that notify. Plenty more coming in the pipeline. Take care. This is Richard's Home Mechanics signing out. Catch you soon. Bye-bye.